I'm setting up a print and cut file for some earrings that I'm printing for PDS. It's kind of a complex design, so I thought I would show you how I'm doing it in case you're interested. So what I'm basically doing is I'm printing an entire sheet of earrings and then I'll be cutting it on my Trotec laser later. So what you see here first are the registration marks. Those are those little black dots. And then I have several layers that I've had to save individually so that I can print them and then cut them later. Uh, also, if you notice here, I've named my layers. That way I can easily keep track of them and save them. Uh, but the first one is the registration marks uh, for almost all of the layers. We'll keep that on because that's what tells the laser where to cut. Um, then we have your cut cut lines. So I'm going to turn all the layers off and then this is the one that I save for the laser. That's the one that I'll pull into Ruby and that's the one that will tell my laser basically where to cut. So the red lines are the cut lines, the black dots are the registration marks. And the next one that I'll save is this first layer. This will be the first print and I'm printing this on clear acrylic. So basically um, I have the image reversed that way it'll lay down the first layer and then all the other layers and then when I'm done the earring will be flipped over and then you'll see the image in the correct orientation but it's reversed for this print so this is the first layer we're gonna print this and the registration marks and then the second layer is going to be this um, I'll actually save this as a white plate. So I'll have two white plates and a black plate. The way it'll print is the first layer that I showed you with the reverse logo. And then we'll do a white layer. And then we'll do a black layer, another white layer. And then we'll do the final logo. And this is the PDS equipment logo that's gonna actually be visible on the back. So this is not reverse since this is the top layer and it's gonna be the back of the earring. You're not gonna see it when it's flipped around, if that makes sense. Now keep in mind, if you do a black layer between, sandwich between light white layers, it can change the colors of your images. So make sure that you do a test print before you do a whole page just to make sure that it doesn't turn your white gray or alter the colors of your logos. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.